Hello and welcome to another edition of D-Link TV. I'm Hemok and here with me is Mike. And today we will be discussing the different HD media players that D-Link carries. So Mike, why don't we get started by sure. explaining some of the features on the DSM-510. Sure, Hemok. So this is the DSM-510. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see, it differs from the other two models in the form factor. Um, this is obviously small, so it's, it's meant to fit in a smaller mm -hmm. space or on top of your television mm -hmm. instead of maybe in a rack. Um, you can even set it up vertically like mm -hmm. this. All three products sit near your television. Set, All right? three are so it will c sit near your TV mm -hmm. and connect to your TV. But you know, some people don't have a big entertainment center, or they, you know, they want to just sit this on a little, mm -hmm. you know, 13-inch TV or something like that. You know, there's there's smaller 15-inch high-definition right. TVs. Whatever there, right? the application. Whatever be. the application is. Um, so this is designed to be a little bit smaller. Okay. Um, it supports an HDMI connection, which is a digital high-definition connection. It also supports a digital audio fiber connection, mm -hmm. and it also supports um, composite cables. So if you don't have a high-definition TV, mm -hmm. you can still connect this to your television set. Great. And uh, why don't we talk about the DSM-520? Okay, so this is the DSM-520. Mm -hmm. um, this also supports the HDMI connection mm -hmm. and the composite connection for the non-HD mm -hmm. TVs. But in addition, it also supports component connections, mm -hmm. which is the red, green, and blue mm -hmm. cables that attached um, to a high-definition TV that doesn't support HDMI. I see. So it still gives you a high-definition picture, um, but with the component, you also have to run audio cables. I see. So that's the difference there. And then in terms of the form factor of these two units, um, Again, it's, the, it's using the 17-inch wide chassis. That's right. That's going to be about the similar width uh, compared to your DVD player or your audio receiver, right? Exactly. It's, it's designed to, mm -hmm. to stack nicely in, in uh, your rack with your other components. Okay, great. Um, another thing, uh, it supports S-Video, mm -hmm. which is a, another non-HD format, which right. gives you improved picture quality over mm -hmm. your composite cables. And then on the audio side, like this, it does support the digital um, mm -hmm. fiber audio, mm -hmm. uh, but it also supports coax audio. I see. So some DVD players, you know, you'll, you'll see on right. the back there, support Very coax. flexible. Right. The, Very flexible. The, uh, connectivity. Okay, so how about we turn our attention now to the DSM-750. Okay, so the DSM-750 SM has the same physical connections mm -hmm. um, as the 520. Right. But the difference being, well, there's a few differences, but the major difference, as you can see in, mm -hmm. in the appearance, is three antennas versus one. Right. So this supports um, the draft-in technology, mm -hmm. which is the latest wireless standard. Which is much faster in terms of providing the coverage and yeah. uh, reception, right? Yes, much faster, much farther. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the wireless G is, is working its way out, mm -hmm. and really everyone's going to migrate over to, uh, to 802.11n. Okay, so I know that all three devices run uh, on Media Lounge um, uh, on-screen uh, display, correct? Right, right. So can you explain a little bit about that in terms of like how you're able to play all the media that you have stored on your PC or, or your uh, network storage? Sure. So what, what Media Lounge does is allows you to, uh, you install the software on your desktop PC or, or your laptop. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could put it on either. And then you have your pictures, you know, that you've taken from your digital mm -hmm. camera or maybe your home movies or movies, you know, trailers that you've downloaded mm -hmm. from the Internet mm -hmm. or MP3 files or, or whatever, you know, audio, video, mm -hmm. and picture files. Right. Um, and what you can do is bring those files to your television set and to your home entertainment mm -hmm. stereo system by streaming them mm -hmm. um, wirelessly through one of these devices. Or wired, right? Or wired, right. right. They all support wired as well. Great. So, again... Um, so I know that there's a couple of new features that's been added to the DSM-520. Right. And the features that are integrated with the 750 is the fact that on the DSM-520, now is, uh, the Active TV Online that's is right. going to be available as part of the Media Lounge feature. That's right. Or one of them, right? That's right. So can you explain a little bit about that? Sure. Hemok. So Active TV Online is... Mm -hmm in essence, uh, an aggregator. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the term now. There's a lot of websites, um, networks that are providing content right. on their websites, like you know, Comedy Central, ESPN. Mm -hmm. And you can go to their websites and you can view you know, episodes, past episodes, or maybe you know, mm -hmm. upcoming trailers or teasers or whatever. Um, and what Active TV Online does is mm -hmm. gives you the option of 200 different providers. Over, right? Over 200 mm -hmm. different providers. And, and more and more you know, can constantly right. be added. Right. Um, where there's just one page where you mm -hmm. can scroll down with your remote mm -hmm. and find the, the videos that you want to watch instead of having to actually sit in front of your computer mm -hmm. and go to 200 different websites mm -hmm. in order to get all that content. So from what I've been hearing is that um, you will be getting content uh, from providers such as ESPN, uh, Google Video, right. YouTube, uh, MTV, VH1. Right. Yep. 
Yep. So Comedy Central. Comedy Central, right. A lot of the major networks mm -hmm. are doing this now, and you can get all that content from mm -hmm. Active TV on online using the DSM-520. And then in the future, that, that list is just going to be continue to grow. Exactly, right? exactly. More and more networks are, are jumping on the bandwagon. So. Okay, so, so what's the main major difference between the DSM-520 and the 750, uh, uh, besides the point that this supports draft end, and right. that one is the... Uh, using legacy G. So the, the huge difference is that this also acts as an extender for the Microsoft Media Center Edition. Mm -hmm. So there's two versions of Windows Vista right, right. now that support Media Center. It's, mm -hmm. it's the home, premium. Uh, home premium and the ultimate. Uh, ultimate. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are the two that support uh, Media Center. This acts as an extender, meaning mm -hmm. that before you're going to have to have your Media Center PC physically connected to your TV to enjoy right. the content that you have which on can it. Which can be noisy. Which is, right. can be noisy, mm -hmm. and, and I mean, who wants a, you know, a big desktop PC mm -hmm. sitting next to their television right. set? Um, so what this will do is act as an extender, so you can have that PC in another room, mm -hmm. and you can still use your Media Center Edition content, mm -hmm. um, even the interface itself, mm -hmm. on your television set by extending it mm -hmm. through the 750. So what you see on your uh, Windows Media Center screen on your... PC is going to be identical once you plug this in and then watch it on your television. Absolutely identical. Right. Um, one of the cool things about the Media Center Edition on Vista is is the way that it looks. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's really sleek and and the menus are really nice. Right. And the extender gives you all of that. Mm -hmm. it, you're it's essentially looking at your PC mm -hmm. um, screen. It, it's it's the same. So mm -hmm. um, that's one of the benefits. And then with Media Center Edition. Uh, you can also, if you install a TV tuner card right. in your PC, mm -hmm. you can actually record television shows mm -hmm. and you know pause and play back television and, right. and all that kind of stuff. And the of same thing that, you do with the DVR. Of course, that requires an internet connection. Would, would require mm -hmm. an internet connection. Well, actually, or, or, all, all products now pretty much require an internet connection for downloading and and watching, you know, right. updated so, information. Right, so it would require an internet connection t to view, like, some of the online content. Mm -hmm. So there's online content with, um, with Media Center Edition. Right. But, um, yeah, you would also need, like, a cable company. Mm -hmm. You know, you'd need cable or something like that to get right. the, the uh, television signal right. and stuff like that. So for the DSM-520 um, to watch the uh, online content that mm -hmm. is constantly being updated and being added, uh, through Active TV Online. Yes. And so with the DSM-750, you're, you're getting some of the, that information or that content right. through uh, Windows Media, Media Center. Center. Right, right, right. Like the AOL video and stuff mm -hmm. like that through Media Center, right. Great. So again, these two um, have the same type of form factor. Form factor, And if right. you need something smaller, you would go with the DSM-510. Yep. Oh, and another thing about the DSM-510, that um, it's just been certified to play. It's... Um, the, the proper term, I guess, now is DivX certified. Right. So now you can play DivX files, right. uh, which one uh, re requires a license to, to play. Right, right. And, and as you probably know, the, the DivX mm -hmm. format is, is a very compressed file format mm -hmm. um, so that you can, a lot of you know, movies and stuff like that will be compressed in a, in a, in a DivX format mm -hmm. so that you could actually burn them onto um, a CD right. you know, instead of having to put them on a DVD. Mm -hmm. And you can watch them, and, and the quality is almost as good as a, as a DVD. So mm -hmm. um, very good quality in a, in a very small file size. Great. And again, these three products support HD, so you can watch them in, in a picture, uh, crystal clear Absolutely. HD quality uh, picture image. And again, you know, it's to transfer or to watch the media that you have on your PC or network attached storage that you have on your network and watch them um, using the convenience and the comfort in your living room through a television. So Absolutely. Great. Yeah. Comfort of your couch. Comfort of your couch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Great. Well, thanks again, Mike. Thanks, Ima. Uh Thanks again for tuning in to Dealing TV. And if you want to check out more on, or get more information on these products, just simply to, uh, go to dealing.com. And uh, thanks again for tuning in to Dealing TV. Until next time.